Hey, what's up guys? So just hit a pretty big milestone in this project I've been working on. So I just wanted to make a quick video here, uh, just going over what I've been up to lately. And what you see here is a new solar powered light. And uh, I've been working on this for a long time. This has sort of been a background project, but just today I was able to get the LEDs uh, mounted inside the mason jar. So you can just see how nice that looks. It's got a real clean uh, sort of candlelight flicker to it. The light is perfectly diffused in there. So let me uh, pop the lights on and I'll show you what this thing's all about. So this is just a proof of concept here and I will be doing a full tutorial on it once I get things buttoned up a little bit. But man, just look how nice that looks. So basically what I've got here is a simple mason jar that I took and then uh, with some of this spray adhesive, I hosed down the inside. I taped the outside first with blue tape so I wouldn't uh, get any glue on the outside of it. And then I found this, uh, what do they call this stuff here? They call it diamond dust and it's just crushed glass. So I poured some of that in the mason jar and then shook it all around. So all of that crushed glass would stick to the inside walls of this mason jar. And that creates that really nice, diffused, sort of sparkly look. So anyway, this uh, is going to be a really nice light. And I'm going to design a little PCB that goes in there with the battery. Right now, of course, everything is in this Tupperware container. And that was just for testing. And I'll, I'll show you that here in a second. But again, just wanted to show you how cool that is turning out. So let's... Uh, Let's go uh, get get out of the garage here, and I'll show you what's going on inside the Tupperware container. Okay, here we are at the uh, the bench, and uh, I pulled the circuit out of the Tupperware container, and that was just to keep everything uh, safe while I was testing it outside. But uh, here is everything, and again, I have to take all of this and miniaturize it so that it fits up here within the mason jar. I even found these cool circular solar panels, but I'm thinking they might be a little too big for this. Might have to go with uh, something a little smaller, maybe like that. So anyway, a little bit more testing on that. Maybe I'll just 3D print a whole new lid for it. There's the uh, 3D printer right over there, by the way. So what we've got here, though, is a uh, the, the charger circuit is based on the LTC 3105. So this has the solar panel input, and then it is regulating or boosting from that to four volts to trickle charge the battery right there. Everything you see over here on the breadboard handles the automatic turn on and turn off of the LEDs. So there's one IC in there uh, that's a dual comparator. So it automatically turns the LEDs on and off depending on the input from the solar panel, so it's looking at that voltage, but also turning off the LEDs if the battery voltage falls below a certain threshold. So you don't want them running all night draining the battery down to nothing. Instead, drain it down to a certain point, then kill the output. So that's what that is. And then right here is the AT Tiny, and that is a small microcontroller that's actually running the LEDs. That has the linear linear feedback shift register that gives us the random flicker effect in the LEDs. Originally, I was actually going to do this with discrete shift registers, um, exclusive OR gates, and then create my own like uh, little uh, oscillator on the board. Um, and I did do that in a previous video. Again, I'll, I'll have a link to that down below. So uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you right now. I guess we could take a quick peek at the simulation, and I'll put a link to that. And so if you're interested, you can kind of follow along with this. But again, a full tutorial will be coming soon. So let's uh, take a quick look at that simulation. Yeah, so this is the simulation I've been using. And this is the free online simulator from Falstad. And I'll have a link in the description. So when you click on that link, it should automatically pop this up. And I've got sliders over here for the battery voltage and the solar panel voltage that feed into this circuit. So right here you see the battery feeds in here and then we have this comparator right here set up with a threshold and I think I have it set for about, um, it should trip right around 3 volts or so. 
with a little bit of hysteresis built in just so it doesn't really oscillate as it's falling down because you know the the battery will be under load and then suddenly when this kicks in it's going to lose its load and the battery could shoot back up so i just give it a little bit of hysteresis there and yeah i know again we'll get into the details of this whole circuit um, once i finish the project and then this right here handles the um the solar panel. well actually it kind of handles both because this the solar panel voltage feeds in right here and it's diode ored with the battery kill right here so so whenever this goes high it turns off this comparator here so that's why I've got the diodes in there so it's either the solar panel voltage is too high which would turn off the LEDs or our battery threshold comparator here has tripped and it goes high by the way so if either of those two things go high it kills this comparator here which has a very low threshold uh, as you can see right now it's like 0.56 volts and uh, this 1.8 volts I also have a little tiny uh, voltage regulator on the board um, a very low quiescent current draw it's one of the MCP 1702 parts or 1700 parts I don't know we'll get into that again once we get into the uh, the full-blown tutorial but Anyway, a tiny bit of hysteresis on that one. You see a one meg. It's maybe not needed as much, but again, I wanted to have a little bit of hysteresis on this comparator. Okay, then that output goes high to when the LED should turn on. So I've got a little N channel, P channel pair here, and that acts as a simple load switch so that the battery voltage just goes straight out, powers up the AT tiny, which then drives the LEDs. So that's the whole simulation there. Um, just a quick teaser video here for the full-blown project. Thanks for watching.